Hey guys, it's the Solo Cloth here, and today in Solo this Monster Analysis video, we are going to be going over the brand new Free Legends Pass Monster Swift Daga, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not you should go ahead and get her, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Swift Daga is an attacker, and her traits are Blind Immunity, Stun Immunity, and True Vision, which are really bad traits. Those are just really bad, so yeah, don't worry about ranking her up for traits, because yeah, not worth it at all. And then her relics are sword and mask, which are actually pretty good. And then if we go on down to her pros and cons, we have a decent power and relics, acceptable trait, which honestly, I don't think that's true at all. Nature and a magic meta, access to bleed and toxins, and access to positive effect removal, which is really good. And then her cons are horrible life, metal and a magic meta, pitiful levels of raw damage, abysmal cooldowns on extra turn moves, meaning she definitely can't infinitely chain, which is kind of annoying, and anticipation will kill her very easily since she has a lot of extra turns. And now let's go on down to her moveset. So she has a 30 metal damage with bleed, toxins, and an extra turn, which is really cool. That is actually a pretty great move. And then she also has an toxins aoe with bleed which is really good she also has an extra turn with 20 metal damage and she has a true vision possession immunity with an extra turn which honestly that move isn't very great but it can help get the cooldowns down on your other extra turns which is pretty good but of course since they do have really high cooldowns you will not be able to chain them at all but at least next turn you will be able to since you can go ahead and just use this extra turn to bring down their cooldowns a little bit. So yeah, it has some pretty decent moves. You will be able to use them all in one turn, which is really cool. You'll be able to do a little bit of damage with that. Yeah, she doesn't have too high damage, but she does have negative effects that can help lower their health even more, which is really cool. So yeah, she does seem pretty decent. She isn't super powerful, but she can do quite a bit of damage. And of course, her stats are pretty high since she is a brand new mythic a new multiversal mythic so yeah since she isn't a free legends pass i do definitely recommend that you guys go and try to get her because yeah she's free to play very easy to get so definitely go and get swift dog her design is also really cool i do really like the design and yeah her moveset is pretty decent as well and yeah she has some other moves that you could definitely use instead this one is really good the aoe per with toxins and total blind i don't know why they don't use that move that is just a really good move. So yeah, definitely use that one as well. But yeah, really great monster. Definitely go ahead and use her. She is a very, very good. And let me know down in the comments if you guys think that she's good. And if you guys are going to be getting her or using her. And yeah, this is in the next one. Over to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.